What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Boston Red Sox versus Tampa Bay Rays. Major League Baseball matchup going down Tuesday, May 14th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. Also, make sure you check out my 2024 Major League Baseball Grand Slam Season Pass. This is for the betters that are betting $1,000 or more per game on Major League Baseball this season. But what it's going to get you access to is the weighting and rating of my plays for the first time. You're going to know where my biggest bets on the board are. It's also going to get you access to my nerfies and yurfies and my first five plays. As well as plays I make throughout the day based on things like line moves, money moves, pitching changes, and lineup changes. So if that sounds like something you're interested in and that's the kind of bankroll that you're working with, text 775-636-7674. We'll get you some more information. But let's get to this one between the Tampa Bay Rays and the Boston Red Sox. You know, the the, uh, the Tampa Bay Rays sending out Aaron Savali to the mound in this one, while the Red Sox will counter with Nick Pavetta. And Pavetta, you know, made his return to the Red Sox lineup against the Atlanta Braves and didn't look great. He gave up five runs and seven hits, uh, three home runs allowed in that start. And he's, you know, looked kind of like the Nick Pavetta, you know, of, of old that really kind of struggled his way through, you know, um, the start of the 2022 season. You know, he... Um, just was really struggling to get through those uh, those first few innings back. And now you got to take on a Tampa Bay team that has started to pick up their play against right-handed pitching in the month of May. You know, uh, they've been really good against left-handed pitching, but, you know, even against righties, this was a Tampa Bay team that started out kind of slow compared to the, you know, mark they had last year. They were absolutely tearing the cover off of the ball. Now in the month of May, they're around league average in terms of batting average against righties. But like I said, they're trending in the right direction. And they've been able to win a fair number of games as of late. They did drop their series against the New York Yankees over the weekend, but I still think this is a decent spot for the uh, for the uh, the Tampa Bay Rays to bounce back. And because I gave Boston, you know, a little bit of credit, you know, going into this series against the uh, the Nationals, and they lost the game in disappointing fashion. They managed to win the last two games of that series, but it doesn't change the fact that run scoring has been an issue for this uh, this Red Sox team. You know, going back over the last ten games entering Monday's action, the Boston Red Sox had scored three runs or less in seven of their last nine games. So it's really hard to feel, you know, feel confident about backing them. Now, Nick Pavetta, you know, he had a fir good first couple starts, but then, like I said, he got rattled last time out and, you know, he didn't do overly well in, in limited action against the, uh, the Rays last season. Now, I think this is going to be interesting to see how he does back at Fenway because it's going to be his first home start of the season. All the first three of his starts this year have all been on the road. But we know how hitter-friendly Fenway Park can be, and, you know, Aaron Savale, he's had issues himself, but, you know, even with with the struggles that he's had on the road, I still think he can have enough success here, and we had decent numbers against the Boston Red Sox last season, you know, and you look at just the, the state of the, the Tampa Bay Rays bullpen, it's been much improved since uh, since the rough start to the year, you know, a 3.13 uh, ERA across the, the month of May so far. And I just think this is a spot where, you know, we're catching some value here with the Tampa Bay Rays. I just don't want to lay this kind of price with the Red Sox, with Pavetta only having one start back under his belt. And really, like I said, me really not liking what I've seen from the uh, from the Red Sox in recent weeks. So give me the Tampa Bay Rays and the plus money in this one. And that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. Why are your pick dogs? Check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business. And tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're at our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here. Pick dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.